So now what we need to do is set up our interface because if we built it right now, all we would see is the window. And I have a notification here from Twitter. Um, ignore that for now. And an email, so <laughs> ignore that. Um, so here we go, all we would see is our window. So we need to add our navigation controller to load the root view controller, which is this view here. So we need to go into the main window.xib or nib depending on how you want to say it. The proper name is nib, I believe. Uh, we need to go into the objects here. We need to drag a navigation controller, which looks like this, this orange background with a kind of weird gray arrow in it. So we drag and drop that into our file here, if my computer stops running slowly. And we're going to delete the title here from root view controller. We're just going to delete it because we've got our own one. And what we need to do, we need to let the delegate know about this because remember we set it up in the delegate. So we're going to go select the navigation controller, go to connections. And we're going to go from referencing outlets and drag it to the delegate and select our nav controller. Now we're going to do the same thing for the window to set the root view controller because remember we set that so it needs to know about it as well see so that's that set up but as you can see our view has nothing what we need to do is have our, as I've said before is point the navigation controller to our root view controller so this is the table view controller we need to let the navigation controller know about it so to do that we're going to select our navigation controllers view by clicking on the view and then we're going to go to this tab here don't know what that one's called and we're going to set its class to the root view controller next we're going to go to the attributes tab and select the nib name and we're going to type out the nib name of root view controller now it won't be root view controller on yours unless you've copied me uh, if you named your dot nib something else like table view controller put that in if you named it pets array view controller put that in but make sure it matches this view controller here I think I'm blabbing on a bit now so as you can see as we save we can now see it's now loaded from our root view controller so I'm gonna build and run now to show you it works and I'll be back in a bit alright guys I'm back and as you can see here's our app pets as the title dog cat and snake uh, as our objects in the table view so that's it all set up now in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make these actually push a new view so it will when you click on that it will push a new dog view up and it will have like a picture of a dog or something and then we'll have the cat and the snake um, and also how to get the back button on the navigation controller here now if you have a quick quick look at your song app again you will see these little grey arrows here on the side now I'm just going to quickly let you know how to set that up so if we go into the root view controller .m, where we set up the cell we're going to type a new line of code in here so I'm going to type that out and I'll be back in a bit alright guys I'm back and as you can see I've just typed a thing in two uh, square brackets here and I've gone cell set accessory type UI table view accessory uh, UI table view cell accessory sorry and then disclosure indicator that's the small little grey arrow however if we delete that and press escape we see we have four different options check mark is a tick detail disclosure button is like the arrow but with a blue background on it and disclosure indicator is the small little grey arrow and none is obviously none so if we have that and we stop and then run again you'll see a nice little grey arrow on our app um, so as you can see here nice little grey arrow again you can play around with those little images um, but I think I'm running on a bit too long now so uh, new tutorial shall appear here when it's ready and um, yep thanks for watching another email um, thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on twitter where i'll be posting all the new news on all my videos and taking in suggestions as well so again thanks for watching and see you in my next video